Welcome back to the channel. We purchased a camper. I know it's a big project. It's from 1970. It's a Ford Econoline. Um, I believe it's a 300 and it's a Shasta camper. So let's take a tour. Let's start with the entryway. Doors broken. Love the vintage stickers. Wonder which owner did that. And then you can see the steps sitting here, the outside step. We're gonna have to fix that. Back up a little bit so you can sort of see how it's arranged. Like a little U-shaped kitchen. And then down under the cupboard is a water heater. I'm not sure. That's what I'm guessing. Then that leads into the dinette bed area. Oh my goodness, this fabric. It's a little on the crazy side, but it matches the cab area up front. So I'll show you that in a minute. And they do have a bench on this side. I don't think that turns into the bed or is part of the bed. A little bit of water damage you can see, but I love this table. And then as we back up down this little walkway area, um, we see the refrigerator's missing, so we'll have to find something to fit there or maybe close it in. I'm trying to keep everything as original as possible. I know people say that, but we are really hoping to keep original items as much as we can. Furnace down there. Behind the mirror is a closet, fairly good size. Not too bad. I mean, it is a 1970 van, camper, Shasta conversion. Toilet, shower, no sink in the bathroom, which is just fine. Then we're going back up front in the cab. main cab area, of course, the main sleeping area. We are really gonna have to get into every little nook and cranny and, and see exactly where we have leaks, if we have any. It stormed the other night and we really couldn't find anything visually, but I'm sure there's something around. And then we have a look at the cab area. Love the orange. And they also incorporated some green carpet. They were all out in this van with the green and the orange. The dash is blue, green, orange, and blue. And white. Give you a view of what it looks like if you look back and do the camper. We do have that, not if sure, I think it's an air conditioning unit on the ceiling with a nice 110 outlet. Show you these little things to hold your doors up. And so above where the refrigerator is missing from, I found all this paperwork original paperwork to the camper and to the vehicle itself. This is quite amazing for as old as this camper is that they have all of this information and stuff still in here. They actually have this warranty booklet 
with um, the gentleman's names written on the paper for the warranty. I'm going to try to contact him or his family and see if we can get some original pictures or any kind of information about the camper itself. That would just be amazing because we are trying to keep it as original as possible. Um, 1970 owner's manual. Service manual. They have the instruction manual to the range. How to winterize. They have... <laughs> They just have all of this. It's just crazy that this was still here all these years. I'm I'm just so happy that we got that information because when you buy a vehicle this old, that stuff's long gone or it's in a condition where you can't even read it. So to have this is just amazing. I'm so happy. And since we're looking at the table, I'm not really sure how this table works because it has this part that comes down. So, of course, you can get through on the walkway and surely there's something underneath a, to help hold that table up okay I put all the paperwork away um, I just want to put lovely curtains we're in a little um, park along the side of the road the windows don't look bad I don't know if they leak because the um, has a lot of caulk on the outside of the windows, so we're definitely going to have to pull those out and take a look. But I wanted to show you some of the storage under the bench. They have little drawers and cabinet. You see that blue and green? It's like spare carpet down there. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But... And this, oh, I didn't even see this. It's a cabinet down here. Oh, look, more green carpet. And these wall fixtures. Those obviously are new wall fixtures, but they're old. You can see it up here. Definitely. There's a drawer missing. See if we can't find a replacement for that or at least make a new drawer. We'll have to see. Now this this one looks like it is original to the camper. The other one's not so much. I mean they are older and probably from the same era but that particular one and this one, one over the sink area, that looks like it's original. Um, the Formica isn't so bad except for this spot right here, which I don't know if they make like a repair kit or if I can find something similar material that I could put in there. Not sure. Um, at some point, someone painted this camper this lovely shade of tan. Um, not sure why they painted everything this tan paint and then of course did a wonderful job painting it I mean they even painted over the windows there is a section that you can still see the original paneling I'm not sure how much of that we're gonna use and used to be a curtain we just have little clips now Hopefully we can find those same type of clips so we can make a curtain up here. Hopefully we can find the same kind of clips. That way we can have a curtain. Oh, this light looks original also. And I wonder what that is. I have no idea. Odd toggle somewhere. Maybe the manual will say, who knows. But that is the interior of the camper. So let's go outside and take a look outside. All right, she's a beauty. And of course, just like the interior, they painted it tan and cream. I'm not quite sure what that color is. It's not original. 
Um, we did look on the paint code and the paint code for it was a Wilmington white. So at least we know the cab, the original Econo line van um, that went to where they converted this into a camper was white and um, the dash is blue. So I'm not sure if we're going to paint the van white or we're gonna paint it blue. If you guys have any suggestions on color schemes or anything like that, just leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. Um, you can see I put a little step down there because the outside step is broken and I'm a little short. The door is about halfway <laughs> up my thigh. So it's quite a bit of a jump to get in there. Um, we have a potable water. This, I'm not quite sure what this is. Take a look. Oh, must go to the water heater. Interesting. Okay, and then an outlet above that. And the windows. Like I said, they have a lot of caulk around it, so I'm not sure. They do have this on here, Fiber Light Camper Sales. Um, that's in Mentor, Ohio. I did look that up and they do still exist. So I will probably will be contacting them. Maybe they have information for me or items that will fit, I'm not sure. And then this is an inlet for water also. I'm guessing probably for the shower, not for potable water. They did have a Good Sam sticker up here that they painted over. And these are not original lights in the back. They may have put in this carrier on the back, welded it together on there. So we might use it for bikes since it's already there. And then we come around on this side of the camper. And this is the vent in that, in that closet where the refrigerator is supposed to be. Not quite sure what this goes to. If anybody knows, you can let me know. The outlet down here is for shore power. So we can plug it in. And then back into this compartment is a propane tank fuel, fuel compartment. So that definitely is not up to code and the latch is broken. So we're going to have to get a new latch for that. We'll finish going around to the front side. Not in too bad condition. A little bit of rust here and there, but what do you expect? 1970. Sun's awfully bright today. And there you have it. Our new camper. Watch for updates.